In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. As we come together today, we uh, are here at Mater Redemptoris, the House of Formation uh, for the Journey Year. So it's a privilege that I have to join our seminarians who are uh, in formation and discernment uh, in the diocese and from outside the diocese. Uh, my name is Father Woody Pace. I'm the director of the mission office and the vicar for clergy in the diocese. So as we join you in, at home, uh, it is our privilege to come together in faith. So let us pray for one another. And as we begin, let us ask that the Lord's mercy come upon us in the forgiveness of our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth peace, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, You son of man, I have appointed watchmen for the house of Israel. When you hear me say anything, you shall warn them for me. If I tell the wicked, O wicked one, you shall surely die. And you do not speak out to dissuade the wicked from his way. The wicked shall die for his guilt, but I will hold you responsible for his death. But if you warn the wicked, trying to turn him from his way, and he refuses to turn from his way, he shall die for his guilt, but you shall save yourself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God. And we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice, harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me. They tested me, though they had, had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, owe nothing to anyone except to love one another, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other commandment there may be, are summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor, Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. God was reconciling the world to Himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, Then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Amen, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Amen, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. Where two or three are gathered, Together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's scriptures, we hear of uh, two particular spiritual works of mercy. To instruct the ignorant and to correct the sinner. So that instruction and that correction is unfortunately obvious, something that our society needs, that the voice of the church is unique out there. And to be an instrument of instruction is how God formed us as, uh, as a teaching authority. To be an instrument of correction is also how he sends us into the world when what is needed is to bind us back to God in the uh, great and right religion that he has written onto our hearts. So Ezekiel the prophet Uh, The sentinel given to uh, the people of Israel, the watchman, uh, acts on that by correcting the wicked, by reminding them of their guilt in the Old Testament reading today that we just heard. The work of mercy is for him an act of love and an act of goodness for others who are on a self-destructive path. So to instruct, to correct, is to save from uh, harmful behaviors and choices and activities. So Jesus then gives us a process that starts with one, goes to two or three, then to the entire church, and finally the assembly of the faithful. And if that still does not work, then he says, treat them as you would a tax collector and a sinner. That always strikes me as the final twist on the story because how did he act? He gathered them at table. He didn't ignore them, shun them, but he also did not stop correcting them. So it is up to us to have this divine act of love, to continue to be with those who are in need of the Savior, even as much as we ourselves are in need of the Savior, to be in the company of sinners but to do so in a way that Christ is the center. So that is our prayer for today. As we bring to the altar uh, ourselves, we've already asked for God's mercy in the penitential rite, and then we bring all those whom we love, our family, that maybe have abandoned the practice of the faith or are in need of some correction. And then we bring even strangers whom we do not know, that all of us coming to the altar at the foot of the cross receive the benefit of God's mercy, love, and peace. So to strengthen us in that journey, let us stand together as we profess. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, 
of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, God our Father wants us to be saved and calls us to the knowledge of the truth. Let us pray to him with all our hearts. For the Holy Church of God, that the Lord guide it and protect it, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all the peoples of the world, that the Lord unite them in peace and harmony, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all our brothers and sisters in need, especially those yet unborn, that the Lord assist them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves and our diocesan community, that we offer an acceptable sacrifice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions submitted by our viewers at home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, our refuge and our strength, Hear the prayers of your church and grant us today what we ask of you in faith, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself. 
that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart, and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts, that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, thanks, thanks be, be to God. God. And before our closing hymn, uh, just to thank you for your prayers at home. Uh, we know that you send in the intentions, and so we uh, turn to a few of them as we uh, begin uh, the Mass before, uh, before the opening prayer. And always we treasure those. Uh, so I do ask that uh, in addition to the intentions you send in, that you also pray for the uh, the men of the Journey Program and our other seminarians uh, at St. Francis de Sales Seminary in Milwaukee and at the North American College, the Pontifical Seminary in Rome. So we are blessed in the Diocese of La Crosse to have a, a good number of men who are turning to God, listening to his voice with the intensity of their own hearts and uh, with the fullness of their lives. So 
Uh, they uh, are really going against the culture around us in doing so and asking God's uh, goodness to show forth in their lives. So they do need the abundance of our prayers. And uh, at home we uh, also are appreciative of the joining of your sufferings to the cross of Christ uh, to merit the grace that gives them uh, perseverance and endurance in their own lives. Uh, and as they uh, discern, we ask God's Holy Spirit to give them clarity as well. So in the uh, various houses of formation, uh, we listen to the voice of God. And as uh, he guides us, we are really about the future of our church as well. And uh, we entrust that to God. There's so many things that look like the weakness of the world again coming into the walls of the church, but uh, we know from the faith of our hearts that that is illusory, that instead the power of Christ and the Holy Spirit does indeed guide us. So as we then uh, present ourselves to God, let us together conclude with the prayer of St. Michael as we say, St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Hi everybody, Bishop Callahan here. Welcome as we gather together to celebrate the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. I am so happy that you have joined us and I continue to pray with you and with all the members of our diocese as we pray for the sick and we pray for your families and your friends. God bless you and thank you for your support of the Sunday Mass. <laughs>